Tonight, another packed room at a Haines City Commission meeting. Food truck vendors voice concerns over proposals they say would destroy business. Commissioners say they're aimed to crack down on vendors violating land regulations. But as 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio explains, just moments ago, they voted to further delay any vote. Tonight, Haines City Commissioners scrapped their previous proposals after hearing from multiple concerned vendors, but this issue is not over yet. The sizzling and searing bring crowds to the Chalfamania food truck. I consider my truck like my baby. It's Latin and Asian cuisines excite Haines City. It's not just a business, it's a family and we give to other people in the community. Glory Bell Zamora's family business booming months since opening. But she and other vendors were worried. Previous proposals from commissioners would force them to close for good. Vendor after vendor took those worries to the podium. We were able to kind of rally the troops with other local food truck owners. One proposal called for barring vendors from being within 500 feet of any restaurants or eateries. That doesn't mean everybody can do whatever they want. Commissioners stress it's about enforcing rules. But the Institute for Justice, a legal firm, raised concerns this violates state law. Some of the other proposed changes would also enforce only one truck per lot and a ban on food truck seating, according to the Institute. Commissioners voted to start from scratch, but still plan to look into new rules. Whatever happens, Zamora and her family hope to keep serving. And we're not only thinking of making money, we're thinking of getting to know the community, giving back to the community, and, and that's what it's about. Commissioners are still interested in looking into potential regulations. Those conversations and a vote could take place sometime in March. Reporting from Haines City, Miguel Octavio, 10 Tampa Bay.